Yo guys, Code Life here. So in this video today, I'm going to be quickly going over everything you need to know about the brand new performance boost setting that Fortnite are adding to the game in tomorrow's patch V15.10. That's right guys, from me explaining what this new setting is, what it does exactly, and how to even enable the setting itself. All of those questions right there will be answered in this short video. So if you do enjoy or find it helpful, be sure guys to 1. Drop a like on the video, 2. Subscribe to the channel, and 3. Use code life in the item shop. By doing any of those three right there, you'll seriously be helping me out a ton, so it's greatly appreciated if you do. But yeah, anyways guys, going back to the video itself, let me quickly explain everything you need to know, starting off with what this new setting even is. So, what is this new setting? This new setting, guys, is called the Fortnite Performance Mode. It's a brand new option within the Render Mode, which means you'll be able to locate it right next to the DirectX 11 option, as well as the DirectX 12 option too. That's, of course, guys, if you do enable it tomorrow, which I'll show you all how to do that in just a little bit. But before that, to answer the question of what it is, it's essentially a selectable option that can potentially give you all a significant boost in performance gain by trading out visual quality to lower memory usage and lighten the load on your CPU as well as your GPU. Now, you're all probably wondering, how does it even do this? And that brings me up to my next question, which is what does it do? The performance mode option increases your FPS by lowering your in-game visual quality. Like the jet, that's what it does guys. You can see here from the results from Epic Games slash Fortnite, like the dev team testing the setting out, you can see that it really does lower the visual quality of your game. But it's all good guys, as what this setting does is it makes your game perform way way better than ever before. Like if we take one of the examples from Epic Games themselves right here, you can see with this PC it's got an Intel i5, an Intel UHD 620 graphics card and it's also got 8GB of RAM. You can see here from this example it actually gave that PC a 40 FPS increase from just enabling this setting. Like how insane is that guys? Just from enabling one setting in the game you can literally save up to 40 FPS. Or sorry, you get like an increase of 40 FPS. That is insane. You can also see from the other example here, you're getting another huge FPS gain. And again, guys, it's literally from just enabling one setting in your video like settings. How insane is that? Yes, it does degrade your like what you call it, visual quality and all that stuff. You can see here from the screenshot. But it's really not that bad at the end of the day. You'll still be able to see enemies. You'll still be able to see all of the game UI. All you'll be sacrificing for that FPS game, guys, is some visual quality of Fortnite. Which, in my opinion, I feel like that is a good sacrifice. Trust me, you want to get as much FPS as possible. So a setting like this is a dream come true for some players. Alongside that too right there, guys, the performance mode option will also uninstall high resolution textures. That's if you enable it, by the way. More on that in just a sec. But if you do uninstall those high res textures, this will allow you to load into the game quicker than ever before, as you'll have less textures to load up. But yeah, guys, from those two benefits right there, that's one, the huge FPS gain, as well as loading the games quicker. You can see, guys, that this setting looks incredible. Like, even from the testing slash results that Epic Games provided on their blog post, you can see that this new setting will be amazing for those players that don't have the best PC specs. Even for those that have, like, really high-end PC specs, I myself, I like to think I have somewhat high NPC specs. I feel like this will benefit me. Obviously, I'm going to test it out tomorrow, and I'll probably post another vid. But honestly, from just looking at it, I feel like that could even benefit me. So it's really a class setting all around. We will just have to wait and find out tomorrow, though. Um, but it'll definitely benefit those that are on the lower end specs, that's for sure. If you guys do want to go ahead, though, and try this setting out for yourselves, all you have to do is boot up Fortnite tomorrow and download the new patch, which will be V15.10. If you download that, guys, and boot up the game, you'll get this new option in your video settings. And then on top of that, if you guys do want to do that thing I was talking about earlier, which is removing those high-resolution textures, what you'll want to do is the following steps. Step number one is to open up the Epic Games Launcher. Step number two is to click on Library. Step number three is to locate Fortnite and click on those three vertical dots right next to it. Step number four is to click on options. 
And then step number five is to click that box right next to your high resolution textures. If you untick that right there, guys, this will remove up to 14 gigabytes of high resolution content from the game to make your game load faster. How insane is that? If you do that, guys, if you turn on the setting tomorrow, as well as do that little uh, trick to remove all the high resolution content, your game will run way better before, way more faster, and hopefully you get some insane FPS gains. I myself, I'll be giving a shot, and I feel like all of you guys might as well too. If you don't want to guys, like if you don't want to try it out, do not worry, as I'll be probably posting a video with my findings slash testings tomorrow. So keep an eye for that, if you don't want to try this out for yourself. Anyways guys, that's all I've got for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Peace.